Hello again everybody and welcome back to Fujits Blitz and this is Subs Replays. OP or not OP? That is the question. And first off, we've got a friend of mine, Debbie Does Dallas, formerly of the Clan 49 Div, Splitter, but moved to Vibes. Rolling out in the British Tier 8 Medium Premium Tank, Chimera, on the EU server, here on Dynasty's Pearl, a map I absolutely hate. The Chimera is actually quite a nice tank. Okay, it's got a long load time of 13 on seconds, but boy, does it churn out some damage in the right hands. It's another one of those British ones that you really got to be frontally on or hauled down. If anybody can see your sides, then it's going to be a bad day for you, to be perfectly honest with you. But look at this. Angle it right and it will bounce till the cows come home. He's already churned out 852 damage and he's only taken two shots. I mean, that's the thing about this tank. And don't forget, guys, it's a medium. This isn't a heavy and this isn't a TD. It's a medium with a massive gun. Okay, it's not exactly the fastest thing in medium skin. But, you know, you've got effectively a medium tank, allegedly, with a massive gun and really good armor. To be fair, it's more of an evium, to be honest with you. I mean, you can't really play this. It doesn't have the speed to be a medium in the truest sense of the word, nor does it have the reload time. So it really is more of a heavy. But you've got to play it similar to a medium insofar as you can't really stick it massively on the front line, not with its long reload and not with some parts of it being paper thin. Okay, admittedly, he's, he's, been, he's in a, a tier 8, tier 7 game here. The Chimera loves tier 7 tanks, but it can really hold its own against its tier 8 tanks as well. And the tier 9s. I mean, look at that. Boom. 2,426 damage already. Bounce shy of 1,000. Only taken one kill. Yeah, he needs to pull his finger out a bit. Yeah, he's a bit slacky there. But um, you expect this from splitters. Here he's going after the Tiger P, straight up the backside, massive roll. So 2,796 damage now, two kills. It's, however, four against two. They've got a cap. They are not up on points. It is a supremacy game, so he really does have to pull his finger out. So he's going to cap the B cap. As I said, there are four tanks still on the enemy side, so he's got to be very careful. Um... There's himself, and I don't know what the other tank is, but it doesn't matter, because it's gone. <laughs> it was an IS-6, was it? I don't know. I can't remember what it was. But whatever it was, it, no, it wasn't an IS-6. It was either a TD or, oh, look at that, 186 into the side of an ISU. Goodbye, ISU. Now, it's three against one. Debbie is on for a Kolobanov, just shy of 3,000 damage, which is very nice in this tank. Type 59 is going to come hurtling around the corner to a world of pain. 458 and a bounce to boot. 3,440 damage now. 1,200 blocked. Three kills. Oh, Tiger 2 is coming around the corner to a world of pain as well because he's going to be loaded by the time the Tiger 2 gets there. He's going to avoid him. <laughs> Why not? Take the kill. Why have two tanks when you can only face off with one? He's got 728 hit points left. The Tiger 2 it just smacked him, so now he's only got 500 hit points left. 3,506 damage, 1,200 blocked. Still got two tanks to play with. Take out the IS-6. There you go. Bye-bye. It's just one on one. Still losing on... No, he's up on cap points. Wowzers. Quickly ride through the base. Puts you up on cap points a bit more. He's down to 92 hit points. The Tiger is still very, very, very healthy. Sticking to the uh, C cap. Good position to be in, as long as the tiger doesn't come around the side. He doesn't. He comes around the front. Big mistake by the Tigger. 935 cap points to go. 3,646 damage. The tiger needs to do something, but he's going to run out of time, I think. He is going to run out of time. Bang, he bounces. 386. The tiger will load quicker, so if Debbie's got to be careful here. He is a one-shot, but doesn't matter. Time's run out anyway. So, he gets the mastery, 4,032 damage, a shed load of bounces, a Kolobanov to boot. What a fantastic game. Well done, Debbie does Dallas. Splitter. 
Next up, we've got the Tingo's ESA of the Clan W1B rolling out in the Action X, another British tier 8, this time a heavy, a proper heavy premium tank, of course, came in crates recently. And I hate this replay. Right, because Ting actually knocks me out of the Hall of Fame. No, I actually I don't hate the replay at all. I think it's fantastic. Um, it's annoying that he's knocked me out of the Hall of Fame, but hey, my time in the sun was very short-lived. Doesn't matter. These things do happen, and it just gives you more incentive to go out and try and get back in there. I like the Action X. It's a great tank. A lot of people saying it's OP. Like most things, the tank is not OP. It's the player and the way you play it. I mean, if you're not very good, unfortunately, you know, you're going to not do the tank justice. If you are a good player, however, you really can do a lot of harm in this thing. Hold down, it is a nightmare, and I mean a nightmare. It's so difficult to pen frontally, mainly because, unlike the Carnarvon, its cheeks now are fully encapsulated by some additional spaced armour which makes it very difficult to get to those you know, vulnerable areas that you would normally see on a Carnarvon. The gun is also fantastic. Ultra fast reload. You're not dishing out lots of dam damage, but you're dishing out damage in a very short space of time. And it all adds up. I mean, look at it. I mean, Ting is just smacking everything. He's already up to 1600 damage. He's taking a kill. He's giving this poor T-34 a hard time. The T-34 is going to go. Not by Ting's hands, unfortunately, by the Tiger 2, but he had a good hand in helping the Tiger 2 get that kill. You've seen the Borsig, there he is, hello Borsig, smack you with HE. The HE roll on this tank is a bit low, however, so switch it back to AP, make sure of the kill. What a great way to play Ting. Now he's gonna move down and look at the Smasher. Oh, the Smasher's on his, on his reload, he's taken out the Tiger 2, it's Ting against Three. Oh, there goes the Pantera. You were overcommitted there, mate. If you overextend, this thing's got a superb gun and it will just punish you. Oh, there's an HTC coming over the top as well. He's going to show his lower plate, which is really nice. No, he's now going to show his side. That's an unfortunate bounce. Lower plate again. No, another unfortunate bounce. Ah, oh, Jesus. Not to worry. Still pang. Still, still, still smack him side on. Um, unfortunately, you've got to play the uh, the HTC a little bit differently to that because it has got some weak parts and at the moment, guy, mate, you're exposing all of them and that's the problem. The HTC is actually not a bad tank. It's very difficult to pen, but if you're going to sit in the open like this showing all your vulnerability soft bits, then yeah, Ting is just going to farm you, um, to be honest. He's going to leave you alone now. Why shouldn't he? There's a smasher. And the smasher is... Okay, he just tried to roll him. I think that was an HE. That was a, or, or a heat. I mean, that certainly wasn't AP. That was a bad move, Smasher. Because now all he's going to do is get close-ish to you. No, he's going to go around you because he's worried about the HTC. Oh, he gets another unfortunate bounce. But he bounces 640 from the Smasher. The Smasher is using heat. That's, that's not a wise move. Not with this tank, not with the spaced armor on the turret, and not with the depression of the Smasher. Unfortunately, um, HE would have been better, mate, to be honest with you. And there you go, HE would have been better. He gets a 450 roll with HE. He was going for the derp, and that was his undoing. 4,512 damage, 1,710 blocked, and five kills. A wow deserved mastery. Pools and Radley Walters medals to boot, and a Kolobanov. Wow done indeed even though you knocked me out of the Hall of Fame. Not to worry, I mean, it's a well-deserved mastery and it was a fantastic game to watch. Plus it was a ratings battle, so you got some nice points. I've been Fujit, that has been Debbie Does Dallas of Vibes and the Tingo's ESA of W1B. Thank you both for sharing your replays. By the way, if you've got any decent replays, send them to me, fujitsblitz at gmail.com or post them to my Discord server. Don't forget, guys, if you haven't subscribed yet, please do. It's a nice thing to do. It costs you nothing. By all means, comment, like, and everything below. Big shout out to my Patreons who, without their support, videos like this would be a lot harder. So, once again, guys, thank you very much. And until the next time, stay safe out there. Have fun on the battlefield and happy tanking because, you know, that is what it is all about. Having fun and being 
happy.